on today's fixing bugs and stuff we're gonna talk about caster shims okay one thing I forgot to mention are the shims that go on the back of the beam uh, they're caster shims I guess you call them caster shims but we can see them right there oops right there um there's one on each side one goes there on the back of this side of the beam and one goes there and the back of the side of the beam and what it does it um it adjusts your um, your trailing arm when you lower the car your trailing arm is in a different position so it helps to uh fix the trailing arm geometry okay let's look at the drawing that i have we're going to look at the geometry the the green is the spindle the magenta uh, slash purple is the link pin carrier the yellow is the trailing arms and the uh cyan slash blue is the beam this is stock setup i understand that the trailing arms are not really that way once the car settles in and sits but just as a starting point i just left them horizontal or parallel to the ground so we can look at raising the car lowering the car and seeing where the caster shims get placed and how the geometry changes on the link pin carrier with your stock setup uh, your link pin carrier does um, have an angle on it i believe it may be three to five degrees I'm not exactly sure, but if you go underneath and take a look, you'll see that the, the link pin does have an angle. Okay, we're gonna look at the car in a lower position. As you can see, the beam has moved down. The trailing arms are tilted down. The link pin carrier has turned counterclockwise. As you can see, the geometry has changed in this position. Therefore, we're going to have to put casters on this section here. By adding casters here, you will move the link pin carrier back in the clockwise direction to keep it more in a vertical position. Okay, let's look at the car in a race position. As you can see, the beam has moved up the trailing arms are tilted in the opposite direction and the link pin carrier has also moved in the clockwise position so now we have to add caster shims to the top of the beam so that way we can move the uh, link pin carrier in the counterclockwise so what we're trying to get to is to stock position it as best as possible whatever if it's that three to five degrees okay let's look at all three pictures as to do a comparison the first one will be when the vehicle has been raised um, as you can see the geometry it kicks out the uh, link pin carrier the second one is when you lower the car itself you can see the link pin carrier gets kicked in towards the car and the very last one is actually the stock link pin geometry the way it sits now so that's the geometry you want to try to hit for if you're going to raise your car or lower your car by using the caster shims let's talk about caster shims this is what they look like and I will leave a description below on where you can get these uh, look like half moons no big deal and then you should also get the uh, longer bolts they're going to be able to bolt on to your beam It'll be the best uh, thing for you uh, just in case also if you want to double up on your caster shims um, the caster shims get placed in this direction here if you're going to lower the car that's where they go on the bottom as you can see here and then you can just bolt your beam right up to it tighten it down with the torque spec and you should be ready to go 
Okay, here's a little experiment uh, about steering geometry. You'll see how it goes bad. Steering geometry is not correct. It has some issues. Uh, but you can see how it start moving it forward. You'll start to hear the wheel rattle. And I'll move it around a little bit. Yep. So to hear the wheel rattle, that improper geometry. And the rattle smooths out, it straightens up. Next, I'll go the opposite direction. And this thing gets out of control. So it's very, very important that you have caster ships to prevent this kind of issue. If you're going 50 miles per hour and above, definitely recommend caster shims. It will straighten out your wheel very quickly. You let go of the, the steering wheel and, and your Volkswagen to run straight, not try to go left or right. As you can see here, that could happen. So again, please uh, like and subscribe, and share, and comment if you have any questions, let me know. And if you want to watch the rest of this video, it's just boring caster action or caster steering action. Enjoy.